All right, y'all gotta let me know what y'all think about uh, the paranormal, you know, spirits, ghosts, things like that. Now, I don't know how to, I know it. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it really, but I don't really think ghosts are real, you know, like people back from the dead, but I think spirits are real though, you know? I think things can have spirits attached to them and things like that, but regardless, these are those type of videos. These are videos that are designed to creep you out. The last um, the last video I did got me. I, I can't finish it, but I'm here for a rematch. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm coming back. I'm cool. I'm calm. I'm collected. I got faith in myself. Y'all know I don't mess with no creepy, no scary. Nah, that's that's a lie because I watched a scary, a scary movie last night. Anyway, let's get into the video. Well, hold on to your bootstraps because you're about to be 1000% creeped out after watching these top 10 scary videos. Number 10, Three Intruders. See, I don't like the way he's breathing and talking in my ear. See, I don't. Try to just tell me. On occasion, the mere presence of a camera can prevent a potential horrifying event. Published by Birmingham Mail in May of 2021, this disturbing footage reveals how security cameras can save your life. The video was captured in Great Bar in the UK at nearly 1 in the morning. Three masked men are seen approaching the home, which has a BMW in the driveway. One of the men goes straight to the security light bulb hanging there perhaps to unscrew it so they can ambush the homeowners in the dark, but they quickly realize they're on candid camera as one of them approaches the door and notices the doorbell cam. He quickly turns around and quietly alerts one of the other would-be bandits, the one interfering with the light, the third guy, who appears to be distractedly peering into a window, bolts off after them when he realizes they're ditching this target, although nothing material-wise was taken. The incident left the home's residents a bit rattled. Birmingham Mail reported one of the residents as saying, I'm angry more than anything. It's frustrating that you can't buy nice things without having to spend double for security. We already have four cameras and a dog. The men's approach didn't provoke barking. Seems like the dog wasn't on duty this fateful night. Number 9. No, Paranormal Activity too. For Real when your house is this haunted, it's probably time to stick a for sale sign on the front lawn. What the <gasps> Shut up! Published by Laney and Ben and originally published to TikTok, this clip will make you double check you've locked your door. The shot opens on a door. The couple are in their apartment and the handle of the door is being jiggled. Even as Lainey captures this from far back, you can hear the squeaky jingling of the door handle. When she approaches, you can see it too, and then whatever is trying to get in manages to turn the knob. The door handle is forced down and the door swings ajar. Ben hurries towards the doorway and flings it fully open, rounding the corner to look up the stairs as no one is standing there on the landing. Despite getting there quickly, there isn't anyone on the stairs or upstairs either. Okay, that's creepy. That's creepy, but I'm Shut not... Up. I don't know how real. I don't know how real. As they're standing there, a shadow falls <coughs> over the top of the stairs. It's hard to tell if it's just the phone's camera adjusting to the lighting, or if something is casting the shadow, something invisible to the human eye. As Grizzly Pete points out in the comments, at the beginning of the video, you can see light all the way across under the door. No feet are casting shadows, so it's clear no one is standing on the other side. Would you stay in this creepy haunted house? No, Me that's neither. all I need. I just need well, Number one, eight, one opportunity whispering I'm voice. Out. You know how it is when you're hard at work and a ghostly tenant decides to bother you. Posted to r slash ghosts subreddit by Wisepaint, the redditor explains that his dad recorded himself with his phone while working on a radiator at a hotel to show the family back home what he's doing as he's working with his back to the camera. A minute into the video, a woman's harsh voice whispers, Although you can definitely make out that it's a woman's voice, it's unclear what she's saying and could very well be another language. 
In fact, some in the comments suggest that the woman is speaking Spanish and said the name Esteban. The Redditor clarifies that this is not, in fact, his father's name. A second later, the man's phone falls over. Or is it pushed over? While the Redditor wonders if it's just a voice from the next room, many in the comments say it does distinctly sound like it's in his room and very near. So the question remains, who is Esteban? And why is this ghost addressing tradesmen this way? Perhaps she passed away waiting for Esteban to come fix her AC unit. Number 7. Haunted Apartment You might want to ensure yourself before entering this decrepit haunted apartment. YouTuber Simply Sereth published this disturbing clip in May of 20. Wait, so it. Okay, that look like shoes. If stuff is supposedly, supposedly, supposed to be haunted and things like that, right? Why do we leave them standing? Why do. Why do. I guess, but you don't want to. Okay, let's think about this. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. Tear down haunted. Hotel, mansion, whatever place. Potentially did uh, have the, the spirits leave or be tormented or leave it up. The, the, the spirits are still there. It's the downside, but what's the upside of leaving it up? I guess they're not tormenting you. I don't know. I don't know. That's. A... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's a tough one. We're going to come back to that. 21. As Sarah is touring the haunted apartment, which is covered in broken glass and chipped walls, he enters one room and then swings around. This is where he captures something strange in the room beyond. On closer inspection, it looks like the face of a demon. Shortly after, as he and his friend are standing still in the darkness, a horrifying noise starts to sound in the night sky. It sounds like the roar of a ferocious creature followed by a strange gurgling. You can also hear the distant voices of either children or a woman see, talking and see this is the thing that gets me you know what i'm saying because i don't like to watch stuff like ghostbusters and things like that because i know they have to dramatize it dramatize is that how you pronounce it dramatize dramatize it for um for tv and stuff like that so if you go on a on if they have to have an episode out by wednesday right and they go shooting and they can't find ghosts. So they gonna come with an episode where they just pumping noise and things like that. So I get kind of ah, like, you standing in the dark, we can't see. Y'all could easily have somebody with a tape recorder just mm, noise, stop, play another noise, pre record it, stop. And then, because in real life, if you hear that noise, you're not staying in the dark. You turn on a flashlight, you're doing something, you looking around, hello? Something you're not just gonna sit there, that's not gonna work. Laughing while the ladder can maybe be explained, like perhaps this apartment is located near occupied buildings, the former is harder to pin down. Cut to Sarah talking about what just happened, only to be interrupted again by that same strange roar. <laughs> As they listen, something makes a noise nearby. They look outside and around the apartment but find nothing. Whoever lives here should probably back out of their lease. Number 6. Mm, no, Insanely I, I Haunted House 
Some haunted houses are not haunted enough for our liking. This isn't one of them. Published in May of 2021 by Mindseed TV. This is what happens when you explore an insanely haunted place. When the paranormal team pulled up to the rural house in the middle of nowhere, they found headstones out front. The owners of this house were buried right on the property. Are there Why? spirits still here? Why? That's Why? what the team set out to investigate. After exploring the house and trying to communicate with spirits via a Ouija board, oh. the team's creepometer has had enough. As they're in the process of leaving the place, Casey heads to grab the static cam in the hallway, and that- I don't know about y'all, but with me, if you play with Ouija boards, yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> you might be a cool dude, you might be a cool person, but I can't kick you with you. If you're playing with Ouija boards and doing stuff like that, I'm straight. I don't need that type of energy, that type of, um, spirits. I don't know. I just don't need that around me. I'm cool on Ouija boards. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's one, like, that's a, like, you know, they say a red flag. I guess that's a huge red flag. If we have a conversation, you tell me, oh, I play with this Ouija board. I'm like, it's when this happens a chair behind him in the other room flies backward scooting across the floor the other guys had already gone upstairs they're seen on the video heading up passing in front of the static cam but over casey's shoulder someone or something must have been lurking casey said he heard the, the movement probably. behind him but didn't oh, see it with his own eyes it. that is until he watched the video back imagine finding out later that you were a step away from being harmed by a poltergeist Number 5. Peekaboo Phantom Come out and play. Published in April of 2021 by Real Ghost, it's just a normal breezy day in the neighborhood when this phantom decides to make it a bit too abnormal. The phantom appears as a transparent white fuzz. On three occasions throughout this clip, the phantom figure appears and then disappears. The first time, the figure emerges on the left-hand side amongst some trees. The second time he shows up, he's floating in front of these two wooden planks. He disappears again before re-emerging here in front of this tree. Is this the ghost of a child playing peekaboo with the living? Let's just hope his games don't end with kicking the bucket. Number 4. No, Haunted Ghost Tunnel Meriton Tunnel, aka the Blue Ghost Tunnel, has a scary history. During its construction and its use near Niagara, Ontario, over a hundred passings have occurred. 107 men are said to have passed away while building the tunnel and canal. It opened in the late 19th century and not long after, a boy passed away under a rock near the tunnel. Only a few decades later, near the tunnel head, two engines collided, taking the lives of the firemen of both trains. All of these lost souls are lingering here. At least that's what those who enter the tunnel believe. This video was published originally in March of 2020 on YouTuber Dan Seedrin's channel. Dan explains that he and his crew are heading to Meriton Tunnel to investigate its haunting nature, and they discovered that the rumors are true. Heading out in the dark of night, the group arrives at the tunnel, which is heavily graffitied. Before they even enter, they hear something as they're standing at the tunnel's entrance. It does indeed sound like wet footsteps in the depths of the tunnel, but it could also just be water dripping from a leaky pipe. Oh, okay. I heard something. What you see? They walk deeper and deeper yeah, into the water. belly of the beast. At one point, the group turns off their flashlights and the tunnel is blanketed in darkness. At that moment, an EVP is heard. It seems to whisper, get out twice. Ten seconds. Okay. One.
At this point, they decide to heed the entity's advice and they do get out. That's probably for the best because everyone knows if you don't listen to blue ghosts, they turn you blue to number three. I don't know about blue Scary no, symphony I in the woods. I ain't You're really walking through much. the woods when you hear this alarming symphony of noises. Published by the yeah, power of Shaolin in March of 2012, something on this nature walk is singing the back catalog of a horror soundtrack. The shot so captures hard. the surrounding woods which appear to be far from anything. In the background, you can hear what sounds like vehicles passing by on a highway. But what exactly is creating this steady high-pitched hum? About halfway through the video, the hum decelerates, almost sounding like a plane landing, after which the sound simply disappears. Sounds like a siren, actually. Well, it could very well be that an airport lies somewhere out of sight. A UFO landing mm. wouldn't be out of the question in the middle of these know. woods. Oh, Number no. two, mysterious oh, no. sound. The, pol the past couple of days, man. Ah. I just don't know if I believe. It's too much fake stuff out there to be as be believing every video that you see. So sometimes it's good to just play devil's advocate and be like, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. I don't I don't know. I don't know if I'm believing that. Right Salt Lake City received dozens of calls from concerned residents when this creepy sound am, woke right them now, from their deep sleep. <laughs> Published by Inside Edition in May of 2021, a doorbell cam caught the mysterious sound at 5 in the morning. The residents of Mill Creek neighborhood, near the Grandeur Peak trailhead, were kept up by this strange repetitive whooshing sound, posted to social media by one of the residents who wrote that the sound filled the entire neighborhood and must have been 80 to 90 decibels. Many posted their own theories as to what the sound might be. Some thought it could be a dog bark, others an owl, but stranger theories suggested a mongoose, a windmill, or a parked unidentified flying object. The sound was so persistent that some residents phoned up emergency services. They were so alarmed. The closest theory to react town came from some sort of rope rubbing against something in the wind. The source of the sound was reported by the police to be slackline. Slackline is a nylon rope used for tightrope walking. It was tied between two trees on private property and was being whipped back and forth by the morning's strong winds, apparently making the strange sound. Although the answer was not so yeah, terrifying as the mystery suggested. We do wonder who is tightrope walking out here and why. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like I in real life, you, watch this creepy video and you'll never enter the forest again. Post it to TikTok. To anyway. According to the timestamp, this clip was originally originally recorded in November of 2006 at around 1 in the morning. The footage is shot at night in a forested area. Two Spanish-speaking dudes are walking, and they capture something in the darkness that you'll want to burn out of your eyes. In the distance, a stark bony figure is crouched, bent over amongst the brush. At first still, the figure suddenly turns its head and its eyes flash on camera. Down. The men take this as their cue to leave. What is this creepy cryptid? Oh, Theories in the comments from Harry Potter's Doby to a fallen angel. Some think it's the creature often referred to as the rake. Others a shapeshifter. Or could it be like another TikToker suggests? Just Bob. Honestly, we don't want to stick around to find out. Down. Warning, before we get into these videos, just boy boy if i would have been in that last clip i never go outside again 
I never, I live in a bubble. I, that's all I need to see. I'm good. I, I don't know how I work. I don't know how I live, but I would never go outside again. I, what was? Y'all be safe out there. Uh, that's gonna be it for my video, y'all. If y'all enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back with you guys next time. I'm out.